What's up everybody, we're back. Honestly, this video is long overdue. If you follow me on Instagram at all, you know that I keep breaking my low budget in here. I don't remember exactly which ones these are, but these are like your $20 Amazon in-ears. And they were fine, they got the job done. I bought several sets to get my band on in-ear monitors, and we did, but they were not built to last. They're a bit clunky, and the sound quality really isn't that great. Like I said, they got the job done, but they could definitely be better. I've had to take several pairs apart to get to this point, and I think this is my last functional working set. Well, no more. X5 heard my cries for help, and they sent me a pair of their T9s. I am forever grateful to X5. So we're gonna unbox this together. We're gonna test them out and I'm gonna tell you what I think of them. There's no real good way to show you the audio quality of these, so you'll have to take my word for it. I'll tell you how they feel, how I think they hold up against those cheap Amazon ones. And I used to own a very expensive pair of West Tone in ears. Can you guess what happened to them? Yeah, I stepped on them. One too many times. Broke a driver, which was a bummer because I like those ones. But I'll be able to compare these to those West Tones and the cheap Amazon ones. And with that being said, let's get to the unboxing. Again, these are the T9 in-ear monitors by X5. Dual balanced armature driver. Clear and articulate sound. Here's what the back looks like. It includes an eighth inch and a quarter inch TRS adapter. That's awesome. It includes a carrying case and cleaning tool. But I'm a sucker for cases. Big fan. All right, so let's open this thing up. All right, I like the packaging so far. So open like this, it does. Ooh, look at that. Those look cool. Those are the ears. There's the other side. Ooh, I think they're clear. Let me take them out. Ooh, yeah, they're clear. I would go clear or black. That's my color scheme. All right, let's see what else is in here. Oh, this box, so oh, that fell off. And then there's stuff in there too. All right, what's in this box? Silica gel. Okay, here's the case. Oh, this is nice. These in-ears will live in this case so I don't step on them again. Okay, these are the different ear pieces. You get to fit it to your ear. Here's your eighth inch to quarter inch TRS adapter. Very nice. You never have too many of those. And a cleaning tool. Pick on one side and a brush on the other. That's cool, because I've never cleaned my in-ears. Don't share in-ears. All right, I'm assuming this is the actual cable. Let's check it out. Okay, more ear pieces. Cool. I don't have any good way to test that. I just kind of go by what fits the best. And here is the actual cable. All right, so there's our whole set. We got the case, the ears, the cable and then the earpieces. This cable feels nice. It's more rubber. Like if we pull that, this braided Amazon one, it's definitely more plasticky feeling. Like it's stiffer. It still bends and everything, but it just feels stiff. When I ordered these, I ordered black and they came in brown. So, I mean, they were just going under shirts, so it wasn't a huge deal, but it was kind of a bummer. Always go with black. I guess if you could get clear, there might be an option too. I prefer black though. Those are what connects to your ears. This part will slide behind your neck so it gets a nice tight fit around your head so it's not hanging down, unless you want it to. You don't have to do that. This cable feels nice. And then you got an angled TRS jack on the end. Nice, so when it goes into your pack, it doesn't stick out like that and it's less prone to breaking. Angle jack in this case is a plus. All right, so let's get these ears out and connect them. These are marked T9R, so this one goes in your right ear. Just connect it through the prongs there, and then this one should be marked too, T9L. Super tiny print. These feel a lot better than the Amazon ones. These honestly feel better than my Western ones too. Very solid, feels a lot more solid. Like this one, you can kind of hear it click a little bit. These ones, solid. These just feel way sturdier. I'm not gonna step on them, test it out. That would be the ultimate test, wouldn't it? Step on them, not gonna put them through that, but that would be the test. Let's put some tips on. I'm gonna go with the little bag first. I don't know what size ear I have. I'm not measuring, So let's see. I'm gonna start with the mediums. These are foam, what are these ones? I'm assuming they're all foam, okay. Some of these are rubber, different sizes. These ones have like that rubber tip and then just a bunch of different colors, sizes. It looks like you get, you get the big ones in clear, medium ones in clear, small ones in clear. That one's still in the bag. We got it, we got it. Same sizes in this gray color with orange on the inside. Let's start with the foam. I'm gonna go medium foam. Slide that over, piece of cake. Make sure it's not covering the driver. I'll put these over my back. See if I did this correctly on the first try. Because this is live. I don't fake anything here. This is live. How's that look? A little bit chunkier. Foam definitely is sound isolating. I hear a lot less of the room now. Try the other one. Okay. Then you get that part in the back. You just slide up. All right. There you go. That's what they look like. Very sound isolating. Let's try the smaller foam tips. And then we'll move on to the rubber tip. Everyone's ears are different. Okay. Smaller size fits a little bit better. We'll stick with the smaller. They feel good. Definitely sound isolating. I can still hear myself, but it's definitely like, once you put some sound through this, you're not gonna hear anything. Or it'll be a lot quieter anyway. Let's try the rubber tip. We're just gonna try the small ones. I would assume the rubber ones are easier to clean. Foam ones are gonna get all dented and stuff. I think the rubber ones will probably hold up a lot better. That's just my guess. I don't know any. Rubber ones feel better. I think we're gonna stick with the rubber ones, but they have options for all sizes of ears. So if you wanted to go with the foam tips, absolutely do that. Do what you want. Small ones definitely fit better for my ears. 
I feel very secure with this fit. The Amazon ones did not come with a slide here, so I had to make my own out of Velcro. So this is a nice change. I also used to tape those, but Velcro was the way to go. Tape worked too, it's just kind of gross. So yeah, so these are the T9s by X5. They feel very high quality, very solid, cable's nice. So far, so good. So let's plug them in and see what they sound like. Okay, so now I'm listening to this microphone that's right off camera. The sound isolation is great. This mic is very clear. I mean, the sound difference just from doing this between these and the T9s, it's a no-brainer. These are way better. Clarity is nice. Honestly, it sounds like there's a covering off of my ears now using these. That's nice. Let me grab a guitar and play some guitar. Wow, I can hear my guitars out of tune. Something I've never heard before with my old in-ears. Let's fix that. It sounds so much better. I wasn't expecting it to be this drastic, but it is that drastic. I bet I can hear the difference in tone wood now. I can hear that I need to intonate this guitar again. I can hear that the gate isn't working properly on the microphone. I wonder how bad my mixes have been. Yeah, if you can avoid those Amazon ones, I would recommend it, but if that's all you got, you can. These are way better. Let me pull up one of my songs and tell you what I think. Okay, right away. Big difference. Yeah, I can hear what I need to adjust in this mix already. Too late, the song's already out. It's definitely a lot less punchy, a lot flatter. I think my Amazon ones might have exaggerated a little bit. That like sub bass is very clear. Not a terrible mix. I don't think I did a bad job. I just think I, I just think those ones are hyping stuff up that shouldn't be hyped, and not in a good way. I feel like these are a little bit more honest. Yeah, enough of me just listening to my own song. All right, well, final thoughts about the T9 in-ear monitors. I've been missing out. These things sound great. Nice full range response without overhyping the top end or the low end. Flatter response across the board, less compressed. These Amazon ones, I think, were hyping stuff and then cutting off the lows on the tops. Yeah, these sound great. Would highly recommend if you're interested. If you can take a step up from the cheapo in-ears, this is a good option. Super sturdy. They feel great. I'm using the rubber tips right now. Still get plenty of isolation. Audio going to my ears is very clear. Cable feels nice. Got a nice sturdy carrying case, cleaning tool. Got your adapter. Yeah, this thing is awesome. I wish there was a way to show you how good these things sound. But yeah, that's all I got for you. If you're interested in the T9s, I'll have a link in my description. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. And there's nothing else really to say. Great product. If you have any questions about this or any other gear I use, feel free to drop a comment. Most of the gear I use is linked in the description if you want to check it out. And if you have any other feedback for me, go ahead and leave me a comment. And I think that's all I got for you. So thank you to X5 for sending me these. These are awesome. You guys are a lifesaver. Very happy with them so far. And if I have anything negative, negative to say, I'll make sure to do an update video or something like that in the future. Or I'll pin the comment, I don't know, something like that. Again, link in the description if you wanna learn more about the T9s. And I just wanna thank you for watching this video and I hope you tune in for the next one. I gotta get back to work now, bummer. See, I can hear it, it's out of tune again.